Local mental health experts weigh in on the pros and cons of Measure 1A. Phil Lindemann, Crystal. 93 News. First, this morning was brutally cold across the state with a record low of negative 12 outside of Jefferson in South Park. In Summit, temps hit negative 2 at Summit Cove and negative 4 on Fremont Pass. Vail Pass was a bone chilling negative 10 overnight and around 5 a.m. DIA set a new official record low of 17 degrees, beating the previous record of 19 degrees. Election season has officially arrived with ballots mailed to all Summit County voters today. Send yours back between now and November 6th. You can mail it with one stamp for postage or leave it at any town hall ballot drop box or the box at County Commons in Frisco. Measure 1A is one of the hottest local items on this year's ballot, asking for a mill levy increase of $8.8 million per year to support five community programs. About $2 million annually goes to mental health services at a time when local suicide rate is three times higher than the nation. Betsy Casey with the mental health advocacy program Building Hope says that money will definitely help. Some of the things that you could expect to see if the ballot passes would be the establishment of mental health and substance abuse treatment, um, specifically treatment programs in our community. One of the nonprofit's newest programs, called Mental Health Navigation, could use a boost. One case manager has already handled 55 cases in just four months. That would be a game changer for Summit County. 1A opponents say the bill lumps together too many unrelated programs. Child care receives the most money at $2.5 million annually, but supports tuition assistance to four-year-olds only. Our local ballot is a big one this year, with 22 candidates vying for eight contested seats, including U.S. and state Congress. Of those candidates, five are women and two are lieutenant governor. Running for state house are Democrat Julie McCluskey and Republican Mike Mason to replace term-limited Millie Hamner. Four men, including libertarian and unaffiliated candidates, are running for the U.S. Congress seat left vacant by Jared Polis. Polis is one of four running for Colorado governor, including libertarian and unity party candidates, also up for grabs are Secretary of State, State Treasurer, State Board of Education, and Attorney General. Locally, Democrat Jamie Fitzsimons and Republican Derek Woodman run for Summit Sheriff in round two of a 2016 special election. All other candidate offices have one candidate. Election day is November 6th, and remember, your ballot still counts even if you only vote for the items you care about. It's the second year of a brand new high-level avalanche science course at Colorado Mountain College in Leadville, and program director Roger Coit says it's the start of a new moment in snow science. We've seen a good bit of information that has resulted in real changes in avalanche education and uh, safety practices, and we're trying to uh, mirror those and present those in our program. The course is built for serious snow pros like AVI forecasters and snow safety personnel at resorts. It spans 22 credit hours and two seasons seasons, including ARI Level 1 and Level 2 Pro Certs, with classes taught by the latest generation of expert mentors. I think the industry as a whole has realized the importance of prolonged and mentored exposure to the concepts and applications and risk safety practices needed to go out in a pretty dangerous, extreme environment and to have a safe career. Registration for this year's program is closed, but you can apply year-round for the next session. It begins in August 2019 at CMC Leadville only. Wilderness first responder and AVI 1 or 2 courses are required. In sports, the Avalanche and Nuggets both have the night off. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports, all Summit High sports teams are off today. Tigers soccer is back in action tomorrow against Steamboat Springs at Steamboat. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.